I'm now going to challenge you to think about how you look online to your prospective vendors. Hands up anyone in the room who's hired an employee over the last 12 months. Yeah, quite a, a large number of you. So in the US, 75% of employers research prospective employees online before they hire them. They're looking to see not just the information that's on a resume, they're looking to see what that individual is like, how they present themselves to the broader market. And I challenge you today to think about your prospective vendor. So they've asked for you to come into their lounge room and talk about the sale of their most important asset. How do you look to them when they research you? Because my belief is that the pragmatic, research-oriented vendor are likely to go and find out more information about you. Not the brand that you work for, but whether they trust you. And I was presented with an agent. Now, I'm not making a judgment as to whether this agent's good, bad, or indifferent, but I'm talking about this person's penetration from an online perspective. And I came up with a fellow called Adam Josky. And where Adam stands out is that he has covered himself across a number of different environments online to create an individual brand. Not a Gary Peer brand, but an individual brand. He's prolific on LinkedIn. He has a number of Twitter followers. And he has a network of connected and trusted individuals on, um, on a number of networking sites. That's incredibly impressive. He promotes himself via video. And he is um, a very highly ranked individual. So for me, not knowing this individual at all, within about 10 minutes, I felt like I knew him as an agent. I felt like he had, had success and that he's a very well networked and um, professional individual. Another example when I was um, speaking in Perth was I found another fellow by the name of Justin Whitfield who's in the WA market. And he's worth having a look at. The first thing I recommend if you haven't done it is to Google yourself. Hands up if you've Googled yourself, honestly. So that's about half the room. So you must Google yourself. Yeah, you reckon that they're not telling the truth. Yeah. So you must Google yourself. If you have a relatively common name, add some terms like real estate, Deer Park, property, Melbourne. Make sure that you're aware of the information that's being said about you. It's incredibly important. The second tip, I recommend you write this down. Set up Google Alerts. Does anyone know what a Google Alert is? Yep. So what's a Google Alert? Perfect. Perfect. That's the exact answer. So you get a notification of when your criteria is matched on Google. So if you haven't done that, head to Google and do it today. So if anyone makes a comment about your brand, your office, or you as an individual, you get an email that tells you. You need to be aware of the content that's being spoken about you online.